Both FMGCs exchange data through a crosstalk bus and are synchronized. The FMGC, which drives the synchronization, is called master. The master FMGC is automatically determined by the engagement status of the autopilot flight director. If autopilot 1 is on, FMGC 1 is master. If autopilot 2 is on, FMGC 2 is master. If autopilots 1 and 2 and or flight directors 1 and 2 are on, FMGC 1 is master. The auto throttle is driven by the master FMGC. When both FMGCs crosstalk, they are in dual mode of operation. Note, when flight directors 1 and 2 are on, each FMGC drives its flight director and FMA on its on-side PFD. If the crosstalk bus is lost between both FMGCs, each FMGC operates independently. This mode of operation is called independent mode. The crew is advised by a message in the scratch pad, independent operation. In the independent mode, each FMGC drives its own flight guidance, autopilot flight director, its own EPIS, PFD, ND, and its own MCDU. The crew must make entries on both MCDUs in order to have the same information on both sides. When the crosstalk bus is recovered, the FMGCs revert automatically to dual mode. Single mode operation occurs when one FMGC fails. For instance, should number one fail, if autopilot number one was engaged, the auto flight autopilot off warning is triggered on ECAM and autopilot number one trips off. The number two autopilot and flight director are still available. MCDU number one now becomes a repeater of number two. A message opposite FMGC in process appears in the scratch pad. Both FMAs display two FD2, indicating that the flight director bars on both PFDs are driven by FMGC number two. Additionally, only the FMGC number two position is computed, and FMGC two tunes the offside nav aids. As a consequence of single mode, ND number one displays the message set offsite range mode and map not available if range and mode are not set identically to ND number two. In this example, the captain's ND must be set to the same range as the first officer's in order to display navigation information. Select captain's ND range to eight zero. The captain's ND, while now displaying navigation information, is in reality acting as a repeater of FMGC number two. Any changes to range or mode on number two ND will have to be accompanied by the same changes to ND number one. A similar feature is the FMGC reset, which is a temporary failure of one FMGC caused by a software interruption. During the time of the reset, the mode of operation is single mode with slightly different effects. As an example, the aircraft is in cruise. Both flight directors and autopilot number one are engaged with LNAV active. First, autopilot number one trips off. On the ECAM engine warning display, read the title of the failure. The warning, auto flight AP off, is displayed on the EWD. Also note that since the aircraft was in managed LNAV, the flight director has reverted to heading vertical speed basic modes. During the time of the reset, ND number one displays a map not available red message. Both MCDUs display the aircraft status page with please wait in the scratch pad. Auto tuning of nav aids may be lost on side number one. Note. Do not use the MCDU while the please wait message is displayed in order not to increase the reset time. 
The reset is usually over after a few seconds, and all functions are recovered. This is indicated by the disappearance of the please wait and the map not available messages. Secondary actions include checking the flight plan and the tuned nav aids. An FCU single channel failure results in an advisory ECAM message. Since the other FCU channel has taken over, there are no further consequences. The only action required is to cross-check the altimeter reference between both PFDs, both EFIS control panels, and the standby altimeter, since the barrel reference on both PFDs is now driven by FCU number 2. A dual-channel FCU failure is more serious. Both autopilots are lost. Auto thrust is lost and thrust is locked. Thrust lock message on the FMA. All FCU controls and indications are lost, including the EFIS control panel. The autoflight thrust lock message is triggered every five seconds. The procedure requires the thrust levers to be moved out of the climb detent to recover manual control. Note on the PFD that all targets, speed, heading, altitude, are lost, and red flags are displayed. Altitude alert is lost. Barrel reference changes to 1013 QNH. FPV is displayed. FMA indications are lost. ILS deviation scales are displayed. Mach number indication is lost. On the ND, the Rose Nav Mode 80 nautical mile range is displayed regardless of the position of the range selectors on the EFIS control panels. Needle 1 VOR ADF is related to VOR 1. Needle 2 VOR ADF is related to ADF 1. Weather radar image is lost. A red weather range message. In case you can neither insert any data into the scratch pad nor change any MCDU page, the MCDU is locked. Such a failure is not automatically detected. In order to unlock the MCDU, you will have to reset a circuit breaker, CB. The same procedure would apply in case of an MCDU failure indicated by the amber enunciator fail on the MCDU itself.